and welcome to the software pack overview video. I'll try to show you how to use software pack and stuff. So we'll go in here. Public release v1. Yes, that one's mine. You know that. Uh, okay. So in here we have the readme. I recommend you read it. it has a short review of um, what H1 does, but I'll try showing you visually in case you need it. Oh, directions how to install. Anyway. Okay, uh, in here we have Crystal Mark, it like has benchmark your hard drive, so you have this and all that stuff, it's fine. Anyway, uh, here we have a glider maker, so if, say you want to make a glider, made a pulse or something, this will like help you make one. So, okay, click, and call. click this guy, continue, it install, done, and when you launch it, please give. There you go. Yeah, it is a little glider. You mess with the sliders. Say, okay, will that fly? No, it won't fly. <laughs> Any problems with that one? Yeah, don't say yes. hey, Yeah, that's the glider maker. Even Mac type. Uh, it's a profile for Mac type. I'll show you down there. Uh, 3D sound back. It's for like old games. You want the 3D sound. I don't know how it works. There's your tweaks. There's stuff. I be careful in here. Stuff I've picked up around the way. Teamspeak plugins. Here's some plugins for Teamspeak. So like sound pack, poker friend a thousand times, skin that's like steamish looking UI. If you want sound ducking, here it is. Uh, theming. We'll get into that a bit. Tungle. It's like land emulation over internet, and be careful because for me it breaks my land. So match me, baby. VPN gate. Free VPN. Here's your free VPN. Very. It's okay. <laughs> it's free, but it's okay. Uh, here's more registry tweaks. Also, be careful there. Here's readme's. Uh, ADB drivers. If you have a phone, you want to have ADB drivers. You just plug your phone in, it'll pop up. You can install it. Oh, as well. As you for real. It's like low latency, so in case you don't have like a sound car like I do, that means we have native ACL. Huge <laughs> ACL for everything. So, yeah. Do do. Install. Do all the things. Go. Done. There you go. But uh, if you want to play like any of the new recent EA games like Battlefield, you're gonna need that. Uh, Blender, it's like a 3D application. You do like 3D images, 3D video. It's very, it's complicated, but it's free. It's fine. Uh, do 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 do. Actually, my uh, new intro is supposed to be made in this, but uh, uh, my person quit after many months of delays. I'll see what happens. I should show you. Hey, uh, actually, I can show you. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a bit off topic, but uh, where's the ill-fated intro? Ill-fated intro. Here's the ill-fated intro. The ill-fated intro. Do I have a picture of it? Possibly. Here you go. Yeah, here's the. This. This is all the work. Hey, <laughs> enough harping on him. Uh, bulk rename. This will like rename stuff for you. Oops, don't cancel. Hey, yeah, this will name stuff, bunch of stuff for you. I don't like. How you want it and stuff. So, yeah. Say you want to like rename all this. You just drag it around in. You can replace casings. You can like auto number them. So like, there you go. Another one GP and all that stuff, and that's fine. Do wait, one touch better. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, uh, that. Uh, okay, C cleaner that like, cleans the registry and stuff for you. So yeah, C cleaner. You want to like clean the registry and all that stuff. So like registry history and all that kind of stuff. Install it. It's free. It's from P4M. I trust them and they're nice. Uh, CD Displayer. It's a comic book reader. And it, what's the comic book reader? It's nice and simple. may come with stuff in the install. Yeah, that's okay. Just decline to it all. Go install it. It's not the only There you go. It's free. There you go. Play and watch comic books. Watch comic Read comic books. CPU Z. Need the CPU stats. So, let's install it real quick. Do -do 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 -do. Go. Oops. Oh, come back. Come back to me. <laughs> Take two. Uh, yeah, diamond tools. That you mount ESOs and stuff. So just have mount ESOs and stuff. So say you have like a game. We just uh, rip the. You make an ESO of it from the game, from the CD into an ESO. With like image burn or something. It comes with a night night down there. And then you have an ESO. So whenever you want the game back, you just mount three diamond tools, and now your game is done. Uh, Daisy Command is for Daisy game, so play Daisy. Might have 
can get this, that you have a serverless and install mods that keep uh, all that stuff. Nice. Doo -doo. There you go. Defraggler! It's like a defragging software that you defrag out boot and all that stuff. So it's also from P-Form. Uh, I'm out. Kind of defrag. Uh, DirectX! DirectX is nice for like reading applications like games and all that. So it run. I would run that. <laughs> I already have this whole time. Um, Spain on the start. It's like, um, I don't install your space driver, so. Space. Space. Like, uh, when you launch a thing, you click a word to extract and extract it to here, and it'll give you a little AXC. It'll tell you to go in safe mode and all that, and you can install your display drivers and install new ones. You don't have to deal with the basic generic ones. Duty Flick. If you're in a post Windows 7 era, I still Windows 7, but if you have like Windows 8 or something, you won't have a DVD maker. Like, that. So, you have a, a third party DVD maker. This is a nice one. So you just install it, do do, and it'll install. Do do do, and there you go. Don't run it yet. <laughs> Easy BCD. If you were like me and like to mess with the boot loader and the BCD and the MBR partitions and all that stuff, <laughs> you probably want to need that. Be careful. I've many times broken the system. Okay, one more copper. Anyway, uh, Epic Games Launcher. This will like install the Epic Games things. Hey, yeah, Epic Games Launcher. This is like install like um, Unreal Tournament and all that new stuff. It's nice. Wait, what's oh, it's I don't know. I thought weird new ones are making. It's like, I don't know, team building something. <laughs> EQ FPO. It's like system wide EQ for all your stuff. So you have like EQ system wide. Uh, the config here, and when you install it, just plop it in, it'll work automatically. When you install the thing, it'll like configure it, say which ones you want affected by the EQ and all that. Find your own EQ config, you can run the GUI, it's like a GUI, tweak around with that. However, it's incompatible with this config I have, because it's really specific. It's nice if you have the HyperX, it's like, ground plays the trouble and it's really nice. So it isn't so harsh to trouble with the HyperX. <laughs> well, they evolve Lanny and Mew, it's like, uh, same thing as like, uh, Tungle, but not as, uh, famous, I guess? It's like more indie, any, yeah, evolve, it'll do its thing. Where do you go? Hello? There it is, yeah, I'll show you later. That's my name. Hey, doesn't break my land like Tumble does, so that's right. I kind of prefer it. Uh, Fiddleizer! It'll like, um. Yeah, what's it called? It'll like make audio less stutter. So say you're like running a video, this will place audio as a higher priority, so it won't stutter videos like it usually does when rendering stuff. So, you can render a video, and we'll watch YouTube, and no stutter the audio. It's pretty nice. It's so how much, like, stuff you want to do with general audio and all that stuff. I just do workstations, fine. F-Flux! This will make the screen tinted to warmer colors, and it's really nice and useful if it's, like, nighttime. So, install it, set what you want your zip code, and it'll dim when it's, like, sunset. So then your eyes won't hurt so much, and you can go to sleep better, because it really does help. Just try it for a week. It's really nice. Uh, Fubar! Fubar is best. I would recommend you install it's like a music player. It's much better than anything you've ever used. And if you want, I recommend installing this config. So, just first, you open the config, you place these in your respective folders, then you run the exe, you'll reinstall the registry stuff, and then you have Fubar Maze. And you can try and configure it. It's mostly configure at this point. You gotta point it to where your music has, pretty much it. Uh, Format Factory is like a music converter. It just converts everything <laughs> under the sun pretty much at this point. Yeah. Do 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 Come on. Do 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 This is like the second time I go out of this video. That's very bad. First the system implodes and oh there it is. Anyway, first the system implodes and then there's an echo the audio and I just ramble a lot. This is why I don't do commentary. I just start rambling and going up top and all that to yeah, it'll convert everything on this one, see? So you can convert all this to audio and pictures and ROMs and advanced stuff like video joiners. Convert all the video, yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. Uh, for the download manager, say you have like slow internet or slow connection to a download, just like, 
install this, so it'll have like parallel downloads and all that stuff. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, it'll like uh, so say you got a Google page that gives a link. So you do is just like drag, click on the link, you drag it over to this box over there, it'll give you a prompt saying how you want to download it and where. You press OK and it'll do like parallel threads to download it real quick. So yeah. It's really useful like stuff that's on our websites. Oh, let's see, keep it going. Oh, bye bye. There you go. Uh, no, no, no. Free Studio. Free Studio is like a free collection of stuff, like free YouTube download and MP3 and video editor and all that stuff. It's free. So, free is good. Do do. Should <laughs> tattoo this one, Fraps is doing. Yeah, Fraps, you big beast. Go away. And anyway, yeah, Fraps, you big beast. Anyway, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, do. Install. Don't give me anything though. Please no. For no. Thank you. Yeah, just be careful though. So this free stuff is like, ah, it's free, but like, hey, install it comes bundled. So just uncheck it. It's fine. <sighs> GD side will let you downscale stuff. So like, say you have a 1080p monitor, and you want like 4K textures. You just uh, set your resolution to 4K. GD side will downsample to 1080p. And now you have 4K textures and downsampling. It's amazing. So, for supporting games. No, uh, you can't make a blacklist of it, but be careful, because I've had it do bad things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would generally just use whitelist and like only enable for certain applications. So, yeah, there you go. Install. Do -do -do -do. Come on. Do -do. That's about background music, kid. The background. It's background music. It's fun, right, kids? No, oh, maybe. Hey. <laughs> rumble, rumble, rumble. Hey. Uh, yeah, let's launch it real quick. Doo -doo. Yeah, so you have like a few YouTube stuff and. Oh, wait. Downloads and converters and quarters and editors and all that stuff. Uh, Google Earth plugin. You can use it. Why you can't? I'm discontinuing it in a year, but yeah, it lets you do like Google Earth and some websites like Nuke Map. <laughs> Nuke Map lets you have like all that in certain websites. There you go. Google Earth. Uh, GPUZ. GPUZ is like a uh, stats on GPU. So, sort of like a CPUZ up there. So, yeah, install it. Please. Thank you. And there you go. It runs. And there's uh, two GPUs. Been there. I've been there. I just installed my system. It's pretty much clean system. Anyway, yeah, there you go. And then Handbrake is like a Condola converter, but only with video pretty much. And it does uh, the new H265. So, that's pretty much why I have it around at this point. Let's play with H265. There you go. Uh, home Partition Wizard lets you manage your partitions much better than whatever the default Windows one. So, I recommend it. It's nice. HTC phone driver, save your HTC phone, here's your phone drivers, you don't have to install the HTC sync manager, which is terrible. Like, I just want the drivers, I don't need sync manager, so yeah, there you go, just have it without the sync manager. Okay, we'll launch it. So yeah, you launch it, it'll do stuff. Do 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 so yeah, you manage your stuff, set it, convert, delete, change, move, anywhere, yeah. Uh, just, we'll do that later. Uh, iCloud, you have like iCloud photos, or you have an iPhone, I recommend install it and all that stuff. You can manage your photos and stuff. Install driver utility, like update your drivers. So if you have an install. So, in the corner. Intel Extreme Tuning, that's like, say you have an like, overclockable CPU, I would. Go away. Overclockable CPU, and uh, you can overclock it so. Yeah, it'll tell you if you can overclock it because it won't even let you install it if you can't overclock your CPU. So there you go. Uh, like on wallet, say you have like um, want to do a bit Bitcoin, Litecoin mining. Here's your wallet holder and stuff. And keep tabs on it and see how the pool is doing. <laughs> Be careful when you launch this, so because when you launch it, it's download all the current Litecoins. It takes like an hour to like parse this and all that. Life tuner, same guy I made fiddleizer made life tuner like tweets your system for stuff so I'll save like a laptop, do server, full workstation, so like gaming. It'll tell what you're gonna do, so here's all that stuff's gonna do, and you click install and it'll do that. And yeah. Go away. 
Logitech game drivers. It's useful when you have a controller from Logitech. We'll install the drivers for that. Mac type. This will install the. Um, uh, let's go. Yes. Anti <laughs> system wide anti aliasing for the entire system. So, yeah, for everything. And once you install that, I would go up in. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Don't worry. Do 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 do. Five, yep. Install it. Complete. Go. Write to any files. And then before you do that, go over here to my type decency. You copy this into where it installed. Not in there. Mason. It's just a four I don't know. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Anyway. Right. You'll hear Mac type from 86. Paste that in there. Back, please. Thank you. So then you launch it. Launch. And yeah, and so you can have it do as a service, manually as a tray thing. I recommend doing the registry, just run it once and forget about it. Click next, double click on decency, it'll set the is that kind of type, and you click OK. And there you go. Yeah, I'll show you Yeah, I'll show you for Yeah, I'll show you for Okay. Stay with me. <laughs> yeah, so then you have full bar. So you open the config zip, you got updated roaming. So you got updated roaming. Oh, it's not here. <laughs> hey, uh, go to users, and wherever your name is, go to app data, go to roaming, and then we copy and paste. Do your thing. Go into program 86. Program 86. And then you copy and Based. What? Oh, this is being used right here. Come on. Come on. Do, do, do. Yeah, this is the default zip thing from Windows. I'll install 7 zip in a bit through the 9 night. It's all up in there. Hey, anyway, yeah, copy. Paste. Yes. Alright. Go. Oh, it's not bigger. <laughs> yeah, it'll do that. Yeah, uh, so while I do that, wait on that, we'll go to the next one. Uh, I've tried to you take that trigger. I think that goes with this. Okay. Yeah, that goes with this. Anyway, so say okay, this thing is like a nine night, but you can select stuff. Well, that comes bundle with this, you can have a schedule. So yeah. So after full bar install <laughs> after any anyway, uh after full bar install, you just run the exe, install it, start installation, go to full bar. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Full. So you do that. You do all that stuff. And then when you run it. Oops, there you go. And then when you run it, there you go. And then you have full bar. That's amazing. What you can do is then, after all that, you can go to configure. Uh, you'll go to here. Click where your music is. And there you go. And load all your music. See? It's a free Google music, anyway. There. All your music. Do do. Uh, Monster Cat. Monster Cat. Do do. So that's your 21. So you're 20. Don't get me copyright, please. <laughs> yeah. Do do. There you go. And then you can go to visualizations, and then you have a visualizer powered by Milk Trap. And then you click music to go with it and all that stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Full bar, full bar is maze. Oop, what happened? No, come in, shortcuts are bad. Shortcuts are bad. Okay, uh, next on the list was middle of fast boot. Okay. So, say you need a fast boot environment for like modifying your Android phone, so here you go. You also have a C drive and then you have a fast boot environment, so there you go, fast boot. Uh, modern video drivers say you want modern video drivers to increase image quality, arguably. The XC drivers, there you go. You should probably go into test mode for that. 
And speaking of test mode, if you're on Windows 8, you can use the watermark editor. It'll get rid of the watermark in the corner. You used to work Windows 7, but this one works more. Anyhow. Yeah, it's, that thing is finicky. Uh, next on the list is MSI Afterburner. Unless you overclock your GPU however you want. And the whole GPU is far as I'm aware. I don't use it. I use NVIDIA Inspector. But yeah, in case you want it. There you go. Look at the stats. So I personally use it for just stats in the corner. So I'll say you'll install the stats. Say you like launch thing, you go to configure and it'll let you have stats in game so see how much your CPU is being throttled and all that stuff. Do do. Yep, rear specs. So yeah, pretty much what I use. You use overclock and all that, but I just use for statistics. So, there you go. Go go. Do 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 do. Thank you. Don't give me the read me. Don't run it yet. Do. And it's like a muster, it lets you look at pretty graphics like benchmark thing, overclocks, and it's it's just tiny, so I just bundle it in there in case you want it. So there you go. Do 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 There you go. Don't launch it yet. Uh, mumble. Mumble's a lightweight mumble. <laughs> yes. Lightweight mumble. My lightweight VoIP client that lets you like talk over the internet to your friends with the server. So I used to use before before our good old friend Benefactor switched over to TeamSpeak. Which I highly against, but hey, I don't even pay for it. He pays for it, so I have no control. Yeah. Mumble, it's nice and nice weight. I should have a skin. This skin installs the skin as well, so I just install it. Install everything. Install, please. It'll do its thing. Do do do. I'll reboot later. Go. Finish. I'll restart later. Cancel. Go away. Music Manager. It's a music manager from uh, Google. Let you upload all your music into the cloud, and Google will store it all for you up to like 20,000 songs. I come over here with 7,000. I'm nowhere near 20,000. So, yeah, Google will host all your music for you for free, and you can listen over online. And it's a full version if you want to like stream from them. But I use it for my own personal music. Just upload to them. So yeah, it's all to Google. Uh, Nine Night with Antivirus. So. Nanite is in the readme, has all the stuff installs like Chrome and all that. And if you want an antivirus, well, there's one antivirus. I just use the without antivirus because I don't really need an antivirus. It just sucks my system. Like, it's constantly scanning my system. Like, oh, you have antivirus. No, I don't have antivirus. All the video screen servers install screen servers for you. They're all 3D and you can just install them if you want. It's off the video website. Oh, broadcast software. This is like um a f like fraps, but free and it's open source. and Let's use GPU encoding instead of CPU encoding. Like fraps over here, and it's a lot smaller and lets you like stream stuff, and it's fine. So I'll install it. It should come up with a new version soon, but they still haven't. It's a beta, so I'll give you the stable one. OpenIV lets you like mod GT for all the Rockstar games. I don't know, but Rockstar games. It'll go in the corner. There you go. Uh, Origin is like the Steam Store, but EA edition, essentially. <laughs> Bad. Any, uh, yeah. Download in the corner. Go buy. Yeah, it's like the store, but EA. Patch my PC, as I said before, is like 9 night, but with options. So if you launch it, real quick. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, it's like 9 night with options. See? All the stuff you install. Do, do. Close it. Uh, yeah, install the iPhone IV and all that. So yeah, uh, Plex over here. Yes, Plex, it's like a media server you can set up your own self. You can stream it over online. If you have Plex Pass, you can have like special features. I just use like stream my own home medium and all that. And the whole theater part of it is you have connected to your computer to a TV. You can have like giant nice UI for it, or you just want to have a player. There you go. You just do online, but I like the theater. So you can sell the theater and all that. And then the Plex server is like the server. Uh, Preform Auto Updater is like, um, so say you want auto updates of app applications. Don't really start. Bad. So you want that. Oh, there you go. And it'll bug you. I don't want it you down though. Push! Push is this the post malware version. <laughs> don't worry, it should be okay hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, this is a push. It lets you like take screenshots very quickly and auto upload them and you can share them with friends and family. And you just have an account, you do all that, push, go. Rain meter. Think of the gadgets, but better. Yes. You can have like third party gadgets, not these old ones I have over here. Push update itself. Go away. Yeah, the new one. Uh, yeah. Uh, here's this rain meter. 
you don't stall. And then you can have like little tabs over here. Dude. So instead of using these terrible ones that don't update very often. Terrible. You have these nice ones. So that's so you want to collect. This Google's network tab. And don't have the network tab because it has my IP on it. Go away. There you go. Ignore that. <laughs> so, your cycle band system. You have third party ones. and There you go. That looks not nice here. Uh, Recovera, in case you've deleted something and you emptied the recycle bin, you'll probably still be able to get back because the recycle bin is not security. So you just scan your hard drive, find the old deleted section off clusters, and you can get your stuff. I install Chrome later. Yeah, it'll do that. It's fine. So there's this chance, even if you still throw it in the recycle bin, because no security erase. Yes, it's accurate. Let's just look at the resources inside the EXEs and. All that, so you install it, don't run it, and then if you want a better version of it, you run the FX after it, and it like updates it a bit. Uh, you got 86, update modified. Oh, this is not really helpful. <laughs> Why aren't you helping me? Resource hacker, RES hacker, point to it, fix it, and there you go. And then you can go open your resource hacker and look at all the uh, resources in it. So, there's an icon and stuff. Uh, Samsung phone drivers, if you have a Samsung phone, there you go. Scratch, this is like Scratch with the Flash Edition, the new one, and then you have Scratch Classic, like the version of Scratch that was before the Flash, Transition to Flash. It's like a programming language to make projects in it and all that. It's pretty, it's pretty nice for like starting to learn programming and all that. Uh, SketchUp, think of Blender, but not as complicated, but semi I don't know. It's like Google sponsored SketchUp things, like you just do blocks. So building blocks. Blender's like more complicated, doing custom stuff. Uh, spec, you look at system spe specifications. Yes, spec yeah. specifications. Um, also by preform. Uh, so yeah. We don't. Yeah, I don't know. Go away. Bad. Yeah, there you go. Look at uh, spec. You look at your system stats and CPU and RAM and all that stuff. Yeah. Doop. Steam cleaners. Say you install like a hundred Steam games and all that all on your hard drive. Like when you launch something, they run the, like the redistributables and all that stuff. They still stay on there even after you run them. So Steam Clean will just go on afterwards and like delete all the redistributables like DirectX and all the run times, and then you can save space. Uh, Steam Idler, say you have like have a lot of games and you don't play them, but you still have card drops. Just run Steam Idler and it'll run the games in the background without even have actually want to launch the game itself, and it'll give you card drops automatically for you. It's really nice. Steam is Steam, Steam is life, Steam is life. Anyway, <laughs> uh, text scanner like scan text and music files that you modify or batch, modify and all of them and all that. So, yeah. Poop. Uh, TeamSpeak is like the big heavyweight daddy of VoIP. In fact, HyperX is certified by the money. Uh, yeah, there you go. TeamSpeak is big. Here's plugins right there. So, yeah. Uh, Unity 5 is like the bundle up, you don't actually have the whole thing, which is always me. Yeah, it's just a web downloader, you can download all the Unity game engine and then Unity web downloader all in one, so yeah. You play, Ubisoft Store, <laughs> self explanatory. You Torrent Classic, it's before all the ads. Oh, don't push it. Bad. How are you pushing? I don't even have. I can push account in. Any. <laughs> Ignore. Cancel the upload. Bad. Any. <laughs> push the XC. That's fine. Anyway, yeah. Good touring class before all the ads and stuff and the Bitcoin mining and all that. It's the old edition tor torrent classics. The good old days. Before they went bad, in my opinion. <laughs> yes. So yeah, you touring classic. No fuffs, just there. Magnolites work everything. It'll look fine. We got on here, Viper for Windows, is not a system wide EQ, it's like the best one you can ever find, but it's only compatible with Windows 7, so I recommend you give it a try. You just config, you install it, and then same thing as a QPU, you have a configurator and which speakers you want to install it on, and then you just drag this into the station folder, and you load the preset, I recommend you loading that one, and it'll do all the stuff for you. So yeah, Mark Matter, same as I just said before, and Windows Live Essential is like installs all the Windows Live stuff, so like Movie Maker, and um, Prepared to safety in case we need that and all that. So yeah, that's about it. Oh, theming. <laughs> Oops, that's about it. So here in the theming folder we have font collection. When this is maybe etch a sketch. I found it in a torrent. So 
the people own these fonts want me to take it down at any point, just tell me, I'll take it out. It's sort of lenient on uh, whether or not to include as well, I'll include it for now. Uh, all I want to font packs, a bunch of fonts I use and stuff. Here's a bunch of cursors, you want to install cursors, right click install, and there's your cursor. Uh, like this, if you have access to your system cursors, like Windows 10 cursors, you just drag them in and it's fine. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, Plexor, if you can change your Plex, uh, did I have it somewhere? Maybe, yeah. Uh, no, where'd it go? Oh, uh, yeah, start over. So you use the start orb changer, you can just change your Plexor and change this, uh, this little icon. There you go. So instead of this one, you can have this. What are they? Uh, system brand changer, if you want to change your system branding, and then token cursor. Santis, if you want to install icon packs, you install that, and then you go to your respective Windows edition, and then you install whatever one you want. And then we have Flare, it's like a screensaver. It's kind of like the Apple one. See? Do your Flurry thing. Uh, and then we have UX patch, if you want to use third party themes, you run this, same people made all the other ones, like Life Tuner and yeah, all that. So you click it, you patch, don't enable that, but you patch, and then you can run third party themes. And so what you do is you go over here, you look at the theme you want, so you want a Steam versus your theme, you just drag this into your Windows uh, resources, there, find it. resources, themes, you just drag it up in here. And then you enable and personalize, just like that. Oh. Enable and personalize. Doop. Yeah. There you go. All teams. Doop. Yeah, you are so there. That's the about it. Hey. Care uh, do, let me see that, maybe. You so yeah, theme the uh, software back. It's a quick little overview. Yeah. Read the remake. It's very informative. <laughs> just, just for visual representation and all that. So, yeah. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you next time.